Number two is a player who has an impact on the outcome of most games. He's an offensive talent. He does everything well and has a wide repertoire of moves in his arsenal. The Cowboys will undoubtedly feed off his play in this contest. The Cowboys should be able to put this team away early, Dick. What's the key to them doing that tonight? Hey, Brad, for them tonight, the keys are as follows. First, play your game. It's up to the point guard to make certain that they stay in their game and they play at their pace. Next, beware of turnovers. Protect the basketball. You want to minimize the amount of free possessions that you give to the opposition. Finally, play every defensive possession like it's the last. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Working it around the perimeter. That's good. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Goes up for two. He gets it to go. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important at 15 to 17 feet apart. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Got it. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Off the rim and no good. They look to get it to the inside. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense. Not allowing him to make that turn. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. The ball goes out of play. is feeling great out there right now. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. That's a 7 nothing run. Up and inside. Leans in, and he scores despite the hack. Let's see that up close. it up he got the steal the pressure got to the ball handler awesome ball pressure it was too much for him and he lost possession Hardy handles the feed trying to go inside the power forward receives the pass and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot Dick are doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job at a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job at a defense to beat him to the spot, Mr. Nessler. Dumps it in. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Kicks it out. They're working around the arc. He shoots from downtown. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. This is a one-man show right now, Brad. This is supposed to be a team game. Lockhart handles the pass. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Tickles a twine. That one's definitely worth a second look, Brad. Coming inside. Thinks about the shot. He shoots from the top of the key. That was nice. Looking for a good shot. The power forward receives the ball. There's the trap. 
He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Here's a spin down to the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and add a spin move to the goal. Well, thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. He hits the shot. That's why we have instant replay cameras. <laughs> Trying to feed inside. Got an open look if he wants it. He launches a three. He buries it. I think right now I'm going to focus defensively. Jumps in. Basket falls despite the contact. For two, perfectly executed. Appears to be a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. There's a double team waiting there. Tries for two. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. And the ball goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Nicky's going to go up strong with the block. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. There was no doubt about that one. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. The Golden Hurricanes have a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Little bump. Says, I like that. Now let's see if we can convert. Nick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. He hits his second. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Nick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. <laughs> on the dribble, gives it up. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. For the bucket. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. He's doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. 
This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Moving it around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back to you. Thanks, Aaron. Watch out. Five-second call approaching. He tries the three. Great shot. They work the perimeter. Number 22. It's mediocre play. has really gotten to him. He needs to take a deep breath, refocus, and get after it. Now they work it around the perimeter. He uses the shot fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Working it around the perimeter. Fakes the jumper. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, dude. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Dump it inside. Almost lost the basketball. Hard foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Looking for a screen on top and got it. He shoots from the top of the circle. Nails the tray. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Double team now. Bad angle. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in the foul. If you get the steal, you're a hero. But you always run the risk of committing a foul when you go for that steal. point territory. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. The skip pass is picked off for two, and he scores it off the glass. Push that basketball. down low there's a drop step and oh good defense I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot very poor job with the drop step very slow Oklahoma State are on a run right here as of late Nick yeah they've started to put it together on offense can they keep it together though that is the question the student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team they look like they're having a blast Picked off. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position to spread his body and getting the ball. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. They're definitely having some fun out there. He goes to the line for the first time. It in. Hits the second shot. Makes the foul shot. Work it around the arc. Gave it up. 
Here's a double team. Looking for a good shot. Takes the pass in the paint. Jumps into the defender. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. The lane. Let's see it if the replay does that any justice. On the outside. Trying to draw some contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Try to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Let's it fly. He drains the shot. perimeter got the shot if he wants it tries for two perfectly executed from the top of the circle it's good moving it around the perimeter there's a bad pass right to the defender. With a little baby hook and off the mark. High post screen, gonna use it. Way off target. but the offense got it back in the paint that's a foul oh and you talk about a happy group of fans listen to this crap oh there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky on the outside oh, poor job poor job offensively I'm coaching he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach <laughs> He's pounded the ball in a duck. Rejects it. Man, this crowd will be in a frenzy if they can get a basket on this possession. There's the trap. He squares up and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. In and out. Draws the foul and gets the basket. He's into it. Win, baby. That's his name. I like that in a player. Go to the line. Got it from the free throw line. Absolute mayhem. This place will be in disarray, Dick, if they can get a stop. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. 
Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Unloads. He gets that one to fall. That's been move not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. Looking for a good shot. Field makes a great move to draw the foul. Number 23 set to record his first action. Hey, this guy will give you a great hustle on the defensive end of the floor. He goes to the line, shooting two. First shot is good. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. That's a nylon in the end. Up and inside. Trying to draw the foul. Buried it. And he'll kick it back outside. Field fakes the shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And they had it stolen away. One too many dribbles. Tries for two. Drains it. out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. There's that pressure on that basketball. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. A little baby hook. Tulsa have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. This just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Dribble gives it up. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He takes the shot off the baseline. He hits it. Looking for a good shot. Telly draws the... He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Puts the ball loose. And the fans are going wild. Brad, it's rocking and rolling here, baby. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. is receiving enthusiastic response from the crowd. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. He rejects it. 
They keep saying, get that stuff out of here. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. For the bucket. Doesn't go. Shot clock is dead. They're working around the perimeter. He blocks the shot. And the ball goes out of play. High post flashes for the ball handler. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He just heaves it up there. Off the rim and no good. At the half, the Cowboys trail by one. We've had a very tight contest tonight, Dick. What's your highlight of the half? The threes were the key for me, Brad. In my books, this shot sparked morale more than anything. When you're hitting threes, everything else comes a lot easier. Well, Dick, let's see what's in store for us here in the second half. Oklahoma State coughed up the ball way too many times in that first half, Dick. They certainly did, Brad. I've said it a million times. Turnovers kill momentum. I don't see a lot of these kids taking my advice out there. Our focus player update, Dick Vitales, going into the second half. And what does he need to do, you think? I think we got to set some screens for him, a little double screens. He's a great shooter, but he's not getting the opportunity. I think his teammates have to screen for him. Takes it off him. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He attempts the three, makes it. If you watch it again, it's even better. Inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Here's a spin down to the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and now a spin move to the goal. Gave it up. Controlling the ball. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Two. Great play to take that to the basket. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Definitely a foul. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick, what are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Oklahoma State are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Gets it to fall. Gave it up. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Now they work it around the perimeter. And now with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball. Seals the defense off and explodes to the basket. off the pass. 
Transition opportunity coming up. Tries for two. Oh, yes. That's a seven-zip run. And the ball goes out of bounds. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from left of the circle. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Up and inside. Arm and foul. it up looking for contact I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him well it's the key is to really beat him to the spot get help from the help side and really do a great job seeing ball and man he bombs from outside I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside shooters. They've got to attack inside and then out. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Puts it up. The Cowboys have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. And he'll kick it back outside. On the outside. Tries to get the D to bite. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was rocking on the box. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big. That really, it's tough to deny him the ball. With a deep shot from outside, he gets it to fall. Top of the circle. You bet you. Take a look right here. It around the perimeter on the dribble gives it up looking for the foul work the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart he makes the shot student body they are going mad the student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition look at that spacing puts it up off the rim and no good on the inside there they come with a double team to stop it he's money with the shot Stolen away. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. Looking for a good shot. Takes the shot. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. Collins is trying to get the crowd involved now. I guess he feels that this defensive possession is a big one. Good job defensively. 
They're off into transition. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They're a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Mr. Excitement with that jam. the perimeter. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. They're going to move it around the perimeter. They'll work it around the arc. Ten seconds remaining on the shot clock. at the three. He's not letting the game come to him at all. Yeah, Brad, he's trying too hard to build a one-man show. He's taking the game away from his other teammates. Come on, man, get with the team. Get in the flow. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Pump fakes. Gets it back out. On the outside. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. That's going to be a backcourt violation, Dick. Hey, the defense did their job, baby. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad and Dick, there is a sense of concern on the bench right now. The coaching staff fears if the other players don't get involved soon, it may be too late. He keeps stressing to his team, I can't do this by myself, so help me out. We'll have to continue to monitor this one, guys, along the way. For two, perfectly executed. That's absolutely sensational, even the second time. Gave it up. Here's a double team. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Picks off the lazy pass. Buries it. The Cowboys are down by four. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He nails the shot. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Applying lots of pressure, Brad, and looking for the steal as well. Up and inside. from the top of the key. Way off target. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. He launches the bomb off the rim and no good.
He intercepts it. Good shot. Jumped in front to take it away. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Launches away. Way off target. Drops the bucket despite the harm. They work the perimeter. Wide stance and the drop step. I tell you, it's all about angles. And if you utilize that drop step, it's like a reverse pivot move. On the outside, on the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from right of the circle. Great shot. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Nice fake. Foul charge. And he's going to pick up the foul and all look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He goes to the line for the first time. It's good. Gets the second. Buries it. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. This one is shaping up to be a barn burner, Dick. You've got to love these close ones, Brad. Every error is magnified and could be the difference between a win or a loss. That's seven unanswered. Comes away with it. The student section is all rallied up and they are ready to battle. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Up, easy one. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. Aaron's right about that. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you know, great post play. You got a chance really to win. He gets the bucket. The Cowboys are ahead by five. A whistle and a foul. The coach not happy in the sideline. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won or lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. The center gets the pass. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Looking to move it around the perimeter. From three-point range. He makes the shot. We get another look. Up and 
right side. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. There's a double team waiting there. He takes the three. Sinks the shot. Call this one a backcourt violation, Dick. You can't make mistakes like that too often, Brad. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Big man spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. They'll bring it up. Stolen. This place will go senseless, Dick, if they can get a stop. The power forward takes the feed. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. There's the trap. Steals the ball. Moving it around the perimeter. Set that screen away. He lets it go. Rims out. The point guard gets the ball. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots. Oklahoma State on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Gave it up. Dump it inside. the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow's pointing. All factors that are important in close games. He hits his second. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Ball goes out of bounds. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. I celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. The center takes the pass. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Fakes the shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Timeout's been called. So let's check in with Aaron. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. Aaron's right about that. Well, let's see who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. I knew this was going to be a dandy, baby. The lead is down to three. Now they work 
it around the perimeter. There's a high screen. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Shoots it. He drains the shot. You can appreciate this more after watching the replay. They shave the lead down to three. There's a lot of time to pull this one out, Brad. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. They're 15 to 17 feet apart. They have to foul to put them on the line and hope they miss. Oh, hard screen set on the defender. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Well, now it's just a matter, Dick, isn't it a clock management here? Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Nobody likes this point of the game when the losing team is fouling and they wanted to stop the clock. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. Look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing, coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here. You get blown by Goya. And yet another foul. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Makes the second shot. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. See the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. The center with the ball. He shoots from down. He got it. He got it. What a shot! He was able to get it in time. Great composure, and overtime, here we come. I'll tell you one thing, what a tremendous shot. He wanted the rock, Brad. He wanted it. There was no doubt in his mind he was going to make the big shot. At the end of regulation, these teams are tied. silly if they can get some points this trip. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Tries for two. They work the perimeter. From the baseline. That's good. There's the fake. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. 
Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts if that stat's negative and absolutely makes you lose the air and you get bored like I oh, am. Yeah. He looks for three. Makes it. For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. Well, wow, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you've got a first player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Dick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the bank is the question, Mr. Nestle. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. For the bucket, Tulsa is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. the paint and he tries to spin away from the defender I tell you he's versatile in the post he's got the spin move and a number of other activities looking for a good shot fronts in first dick and then works behind yeah he's playing from behind me because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player and they made an error obviously but they don't have the great respect so they're saying you know what let him get the ball and let him try to beat us dump it inside he shoots from long range off the rim and no good not, get, not getting enough motion on offense here on transition Brad Bucket cuts the lead to one. I told you there was a lot of time, Brad. Working around the perimeter. For the deuce. He puts it in with contact and all. It's down to a one-point game, Dick. Yes, sir. This is where the big boys start to play, Brad. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Timeout's called. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. We might see a little different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. That shot makes it a one-point contest. Hey, it's anybody's game, baby. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I think did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Step back out onto the court. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Court intercepted. 
Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Makes the front end of the one and one. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Makes it. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. into action here. Shot clock is dead. They're working around the arc. From left to the circle. Rims out. And the clock stopped with a foul. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brown, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. Second one, no good. They need to score here to turn this to a one possession game. Play about ready to resume. He attempts a three. Off the rim and no good. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Well, Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble down the stretch of any game is vital. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situations. Something different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. He looks for the bomb. Rims out. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he was sensational. He made all big shots. He really wanted the ball. I thought he was very aggressive offensively. Oklahoma State comes away with the win in overtime. They came in the favorites, and they did not disappoint. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.